Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a wear test um, and also just checking out some new products that I got from Ulta, some drugstore products and some high-end products as well. I'm also going to be doing, adding a little bit of a, like a kind of a vlog-ish thing to this video so you guys can see how the foundation does. I picked up this drugstore foundation that I'm actually pretty surprised at the coverage and how freaking good it is. Like, I'm actually surprised because usually I don't know, drugstore products, you just never know. You get good ones, you get bad ones. So I'm gonna test this one out today and see how it lasts, if it's a good foundation that you should try out. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be checking out some more products too as well in this video, so just stay tuned. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, or if you aren't getting the notifications for my videos, hit the bell as well. So let's go ahead and get into this tutorial now. And then I'm gonna take this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I used it once before, but I don't really use it that often. I went to the Ulta the other day and I went and got these Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundations. And this is in the color Medium Beige. It comes with a little sponge inside of it, but I'm going to use my beauty, my beauty sponge that I already used because I don't really like those little sponges. I feel like they don't really like put the product on the face well and it just kind of smears it and spreads it. I got three different shades. Um, I got medium beige, I got natural beige, and I got honey beige. I'm gonna use the medium beige one just to see like if it matches my skin. And right now I don't think it does because it's a bit too, oh yeah, this is, this, this is entirely too light. And I'm gonna try, this one is, Natural beige is a neutral beige, so it doesn't have a warmness to it. Try one more. This is the last one I got. This one is honey beige, and this one's a little bit warmer, but I hope it doesn't make me look orange. I think we got a winner. Okay, so far, this is actually covering really, really good. I'm actually shocked. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is the concealer that everyone's been talking about. It's actually a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I'll try today and see how it works. The coverage on this is bomb. I'm just doing my regular highlighter routine and then blend this in with my beauty sponge. Next, I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal um, Pro Glow Foundation and use it as a contour today. I don't have a new contour because I just feel like this one works the best. And I like to use foundation as contour because I just don't like to have too much product on my face. Just like too much thick product on my face. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. This is such a good setting powder because it doesn't have flashback and I'm like in love with it. Plus it's really affordable. I think it's like $11 at Ulta. You can check it out. It's really, really good. One of my favorite ones to use. And sometimes I mix it with some of my other like high-end brand um, setting powders, but alone it works well as well. So I'm just gonna use that today to set my face. As you guys can see, it sets the makeup so good. It's just like a really nice and expensive setting powder. So I already did my brows off camera. I'm going to move in next to my eyes. And I'm gonna be doing like a spring-ish look. I'm gonna be using the Lancome and Natasha Denona palettes. They're both awesome. Um, I haven't used the Lancome palette first, or I haven't used the Lancome palette yet, so I'm gonna use that today for the first time. But I have used the Natasha Denona palette already, but some of the colors I haven't used yet. So I'm gonna see how they look and how they work. And yeah. So now I'm gonna go in with the color Pastel Melon. That's my transition shade. And then next, I'm gonna go in with Sahara, define my crease a bit. So I'm gonna take the Lancome Ombre Chubby Mini, and this is in the color Bleached Flower, and I'm just gonna put that on my lid. I'm 
I'm gonna take this eyeshadow brush and blend that out. Then I'm gonna take this yellow shade that is in the palette and pack that yellow on top. And I'm gonna go back in with um, my Tatasha Denona palette and I'm taking the color Lemon Cello and adding some more yellow on top of that. So I'm going to be using the Lancome blushes and these are the MAC Room Blush and Blender and this particular one is called Coral Whipped Cream, like a cream blush. Switching into my contour palette, I'm going to be using the Black Radiance um, True Complexion contour palette in light medium. I'm just going to take these two shades right here. And contour a bit, not too much. To highlight today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lumi Drops, and this is the Glow Amore Glow Boosting Drops. This is in the color 508 Golden Hour. I'm just going to take a little bit of that, and I'm just going to take my beauty blender and tap that, and then pat it onto my cheek area. Next, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty highlighter in Hustle Baby, and I'm just going to go over that lightly as well. To finish up my eye look, I'm going to be using Coco from my Natasha Denona palette and a little bit of Sahara, and I'm just going to take a little bit on the outer corners. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Coco and Sahara on my lower lash line as well. Last but not least, I'm going to start. I'm going to finish with my lips, and I'm using some NYX products. I think these are the new soft matte lip creams. I got this one in Cape Town. Since I kind of have like a dramatic eye, I'm just going to do like a nude lip. I just realized my one of my brows is. Oh, okay, so as you guys can see under my eyes right here, it's like creasing really bad. I never experienced this before, so I'm not sure if it's the setting powder or it's the concealer that I used today, but I'm not a big fan, or it could just be the foundation. I am creasing a lot around here, and yeah, I'm not really liking that very much. You're not creasing. Shh, I'm just, shh. It's not that bad. Come on. Shush, please. Thanks. So I went ahead and just added a little bit more concealer under my eyes just to kind of get rid of that like weird creasy situation going on. Um, and then I just touched up a little bit around the areas where I had like creasing around my mouth. So hopefully today is still, you know, last. For the most part though, I'm still pretty covered. Makeup is not like super oily on my skin. It's pretty matte and dry, so that's good. Um, we'll see how it does until later on. little kid not just fun all right guys what's going on it's me sim blogs here we are here live and direct at uh universal studios in sunny los angeles california <sighs> all right guys get this free map the first hard to get on is broken so the ride is broken, the first one. Look at this guys. It's ridiculous. What's up guys? Here's an update. Still broken. <laughs> Still broken. Finally got to ride. Make sure it's broken. Got to ride. Finally. Okay, I made it back to my casa. Um, let's see if I can get better lighting in here. Makeup lasted for 
I would say about maybe six hours and then it's really started to crust and crease. Um, I'm not a big fan of it to be honest with you. I feel like it kind of made me break out a bit too because I feel like I have new bumps on my face today. But it probably could just be just because I'm wearing makeup. Um, but I mean it's a pretty decent foundation. I'm not too mad at it. I feel like it did alright for to be a drugstore foundation um would it be on my highest like you gotta go get it no but if you wanted to try it out just see if it works for you then i would say yes um the concealer though that i the makeup revolution concealer i don't feel like i really like it i don't think it did that great i feel like it did crease a lot as well um in my opinion i just feel like it was it was all right maybe it's a setting powder i used today maybe that's the reason why it didn't do that great but i just feel like it didn't do what I thought it would do. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I will see you in my next one.